Hi modeling fans, I'm Mike here from Virtual Shape Research and in this video I will describe some of the new features being available with VSR Shape Modeling 1.1. For example, you can change the degree of a surface directly in the graphics area now by just moving the mouse to the desired edge and pressing the wish number on your keyboard. This saves mouse miles and speeds up your workflow. The surface matching command has also been enhanced, so it is possible now to have more than one reference edge. Let's create a positional matching first without any additional options. As you can see, there is still a gap of 0.14 mm to the reference edges. This is not surprising as I have only 5 control points to match my two references with a total amount of 10 control points. Choosing the Adopt Parametrization option, the control point distribution of the references is respected to optimize the position of the control points of my input surface. This usually increases the matching quality but might result in a control point distribution not fitting to the rest of the input surface. To achieve a perfect matching, you can use the Adapt Order Segments option. According to the structure of the reference surface or surfaces, segments are inserted and the order is adapted. This leads to a perfect transition of the control point lines. When increasing the matching to tangency, you can see that the integrated analysis automatically adapts to this requirement. Pressing Apply, I get a perfect tangential matching, but, as mentioned before, the control point distribution doesn't fit to the rest of the surface any longer. To resolve this, you can use the Blend option to distribute the changes of the matching over the whole surface. In the Surface Matching Analysis function, multiple references are supported now too. When selecting the first edge here, one reference edge is found automatically. To add the second one, you can press the Shift key when clicking on the Reference button. This way, the initial selection is kept and you can simply add the second edge by clicking on it. This feature is also available in other VSR functions supporting multiple references. The Control Point Modeling function has another new feature, which is the additional constraint Tangent. With this constraint, I can move a control point row on the tangents to its neighbor row, keeping the tangential matching there. I can also move single control points on the tangent to a neighbor point, reducing the impact on an existing matching to a minimum. The Shape Modeling toolbar also has a complete new function now, which is the Curve Blend command. Like many other VSR functions, it has an integrated analysis allowing me to directly see the curvature flow of the created result. I can choose different scaling factors to achieve the best possible display. Having chosen my desired continuity, I can use the form slider to move the control points where I would like them to have, for example to achieve a certain curvature flow. The desired quality, flow in this example, is kept during these modifications. The function also offers handles to let the curve bend start inside the input curves or edges instead at its ends. When pressing the shift key while moving a handle, the resulting curve blend is instantly recalculated. This feature is also available for VSR handles in other functions. The Shape Analysis toolbar, which is included in the VSR Shape plugin, has a new draft angle analysis. You can select the geometry to analyze and all areas which are visible from a certain direction are marked up in green. This direction is represented by a handle in the graphics area. You can move this handle by pressing the left mouse button. When releasing the mouse button, the analysis is recalculated. When pressing the shift key while moving the handle, this happens instantly. You also have the option to enter an angle to mark up the critical transition area in yellow.
Like other VSR analysis, the draft angle analysis is persistent and can be edited afterwards at any time. The shape modeling plugin now also contains the WebGL toolbar. For more details regarding this toolbar, please refer to the video VSR WebGL Export 1.0. The export HTML function has been enhanced by the possibility to create different color styles and even a full screen mode with no frame at all. I can now save this model including any VSR analysis into a 3D HTML page. This page can then be opened, rotated and zoomed in any state of the art web browser. This way you can exchange models and analysis information with any person. Your partner doesn't need to have VSR plugins or even Rhino installed. If you are interested, you can download this plugin with a free 3 weeks test license at www.virtualshape.com. Thank you for watching.